Okay, here's my uh, newish engine. <laughs> I've got the carburetor installed. It's a nice air filter. I have the HEI distributor installed. There's a uh, nice little extra filter in addition to the standard gas line filter is down there next to the fuel pump down along the fuel rail. And this is the high pressure line that comes up into the regulator. This is the low pressure line that goes out of the regulator to this extra fuel filter. And then we have a, it bent around under and in into the carburetor. And then the return line is underneath the regulator. The return line, uh, actually. And then with the air filter off, here's the carburetor. I have, this is a spacer that I wrapped in a, a foil tape, duct tape, foil duct tape. And uh, it's got four barrels. The secondaries are in the back. The primaries are covered up by this uh, choke. There's the primaries. Um, there's the fuel feed right here. It has its own fuel line back to the secondaries. This is the bowl primary bowl, the secondary bowl is at the back. And then here is where the throttle linkage connects. Uh, Holly provided the little stud, ball stud, nice, that I, fits right on. Uh, underneath there is a transmission kick down cable, which looks like it came loose. I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, and then this bracket was the original bracket that was bolted to the throttle body, EFI throttle body. It was over here. I basically flipped it over and brought it over here and bolted it onto the uh, this extra plate that used to have the ignition coil on it and I used a little piece of uh, super strut and a bar, a quarter inch bar with some holes in it to, and also there's an elbow back behind there that holds it in place for the gas pedal and then the kick down cable I'm going to have to reattach to that little stud that I made myself out of a, a bolt that I flattened the head on. And uh, it, uh, I've already fired it up and it does work. I messed with the timing a little bit. Turned it a little too far and it backfired pretty good. So then I turned it back and started running. And then it then I adjusted it one more time and it, and it started running really smoothly. So, uh, with a timing light I'll be able to get that really just right. That's the old 460 converted from EFI to carburetor.